Hello guys, welcome back to Take Dose. And in this video, we will see take k of each character from left and right problem, which is from lead code number two five one six. Let's now look at the problem statement. In this problem, you are given a string s consisting of the characters a, b, and c, and a non-negative integer k. Each minute, you may take either the leftmost character of s or the rightmost character of s. Return the minimum number of minutes needed for you to take at least k of each character. Or return minus one if it is not possible to take k of each character. Now let's look at the constraint. In this case, we are given s dot length less than equals to ten to the power of five. That means you cannot write an n square algorithm. You should always write algorithm which takes computations less than ten to the power eight. In this case, all the characters are either a or b or c, so there are no unnecessary uh, other characters, and you will see the k value to be always within the bound of the string length. Now let's take an example for better understanding. Let's say that our given string is of length 12, and this is what is uh, given. Let's say our k value is equals to 2. In this case, our goal is to find the minimum number of characters such that you include all the characters either from the left side or from the right side. You cannot randomly uh, take any characters in the middle, and the frequency of your a, b, and c should all be greater than equals to the given value k. If it is not possible to do, then we return minus one. Okay. Now let's say that our given string was uh, s equals a b c a and the k value was equals to two. Now in this case, even if I take the entire string, my frequency of a will be two, but the frequency of b is only one and c is only one. So since all of these frequencies are not greater than equals to two, therefore I have to return a minus one for this case. because the best you can do is to include everything in the given string and do not remove anything but even if i include the entire string i am not able to get the frequency of a b c greater than equals to k and that is the reason i i will return minus 1 in this case fine now if you take this example then in this case if i try to include everything from let's say 0 to 11 that means i include the entire string and i do not remove anything then the frequency of a Will be definitely greater than equals to two. Frequency of B is also greater than equals to two. C is also greater than equals to two. If you check it out, the frequency of A is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? And the frequency of B is two, and the frequency of C is two. So this follows our criteria. Therefore, this is a valid window, and this is of size twelve. So I can take a valid choice from zero to eleven, and this will be of size twelve, which follows our given constraint. but there may be multiple options if you choose another option of going from 0 to 7 and then going from 10 to 11 and you want to remove this 8 and 9 then in this case as well yes the frequency of a will be lower but it will still be greater than equals to 2 and b and c will also be greater than equals to 2 you can just count it so this is also a valid possibility and this is of length 10 which is smaller than your 12 right another possibility can be you take From zero to two, everything is taken from zero to two, and then from seven to eleven. Even if you do that and you remove four a's, still it will follow the constraint, and the total size of included characters is eight characters. Another possibility can be to include everything from two to eleven, and here the size will be ten. Now, out of all these valid possibilities, uh, we will take the one with the shortest length, right? So eight is the answer in this case. That means. given the constraint if i just include eight characters then i will be able to maintain the frequency of each of the characters a b and c uh, greater than equals to the given k value okay so i hope you have understood the problem statement now let's look at some observation the first observation is we can choose a sub array of size 0 or more from either ends that means either the start or from the end therefore only a single sub array of size greater than equals to 0 gets removed what does this mean it means that in the previous example either you can take the entire string all together right or you can remove certain portion of it so i will try to remove as many characters as i want but i can remove only from somewhere in the middle right if i remove from the end then rest all items have to be included like if i remove something like 0 1 then everything else from 2 to 11 have to be included i cannot remove something from uh, 0 1 here and i uh, choose to remove 10 11 because the problem constraint says that you have to include the characters from left and right you cannot just jump in and uh, choose any character if you want to 
include let's say this seventh character then it can only happen if you have included all the uh, right hand side characters if you are moving from right to left or otherwise you have included all the left hand side characters if you are mo moving from left to right you cannot randomly uh, take this character right so for that reason if we choose a sub array from either ends that means uh, this is the given condition then we need to remove something from the middle in general case in such a way that i will try to maximize this uh, removed sub array portion why do i want to maximize this because if i want to maximize this then only we can minimize the included characters right so the goal of this problem is to uh, include as many characters to maintain the frequency of all abcs greater than equals to k right so if i want to minimize this then i want to maximize the removed portion isn't it so let's say our given string is this one where uh, my k value is let's say equals to 2 fine again in this case i can choose to remove the first two a's and if you choose to remove this then you know the rest of the substring have to be included there is no way that you can remove anything from here now if you choose to remove this candidate all these four characters then you have to include everything right from the beginning till this b and everything beyond this point from c till the end you cannot remove two sub arrays at separate positions right even you could have chosen to remove these two a's and you have to include everything from beginning to this c and from this b to c fine so you can only remove one sub array or otherwise you can choose to not remove anything and you can include the entire string but which one is the best option if all of them are maintaining our constraint of frequency of abc greater than equals to let's say 2 then i want to maximize the number of removed characters so you know c1 equals to 4 is the best option for us because if we have total of 12 characters then if i remove four characters then i can get the minimum number of characters to be included equals to 8 but if i choose any other option like removing two a's or 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 two a's from here or not removing at all it will not give me the number of characters less than it okay so so that is the reason i will try to go with the option of remove the maximum size sub array so that the rest of the items actually maintain frequency of abc greater than equals to k so i hope this point is clear so we can keep this in mind that we need to remove a sub array and we want to uh, maximize the size of this sub array now this sub array is not known initially so what i will do is i will trying to create this sub array from the right hand side or you can also create from the left hand side i'll try to create it from the right hand side and i will assume that i will be able to create certain removal of items and then i will try to slide this sub array from the right to left you can go for left to right sliding as well i'll be going from right to left sliding what do i mean by this exactly let's see the observation here is to slide the exclusion window from the right to left now in this case let's say our given string is uh, from 0 to 11 right and let's say our given k value is 2 now if our given k value is 2 i will have to maintain the frequency of a b c let's call them at index 0 1 2 and initialize it with the value 0 all of them right so this is my frequency array now in this case if i iterate for all the items from left to right and try to include as much as i can so that i will be removing only the items from the rightmost extreme because i am trying to uh, make the exclusion window on the right hand side first and then i will be sliding from right to left so if i include the first character i'll increase its frequency by one include this b incre increase the frequency include this a increase the frequency you see a has now uh, become greater than equals to k c it will become one again you go to b this will become two again you go to c and this will become two at this point the frequency of abc are all greater than equals to k so this is where i stop this is where i stop okay let's call this uh, left pointer this is where i stop now you know that this will be your removal window this is your first removal window the rightmost removal window now if you are thinking why should i stop here and why should i not proceed further because the problem's goal is to minimize the number of characters you have to choose in order to follow the condition that the frequency of abcs are greater than equals to k so if i already know that from 0 to 5 we have met that condition of frequency then why should i go to the right hand side if i go to the right hand side definitely i will be following the uh, constraint of the frequency 
but I will be increasing the size, but I want to minimize the size. Therefore, I will not go to the right hand side and this will be the optimal position to stop and this will be the exclusion window that I was talking about. Now what is the value of n? It is equal to 12. Let's take a shortest variable, right? And in this case, the shortest variable will be assigned the value of left. Okay, so it will be having uh, six characters included which follows our constraint. Now from here, I will try to not include this C. And if I do not include this C, I will go to the left hand side. And don't you think that if I don't include this C, its frequency will reduce by one. So in order to compensate for that, I will be traversing from right to left, let's say using a right pointer and I will try to include items from the right hand side now. In the beginning, I did not include any item. Now I will try to include. So if you try to include this B, its frequency will increase to three. Okay, that is fine. I will not stop until this C becomes equals to two again. Now I will go to A and increase its frequency. It becomes three. Now again, I'll go to C and increase its frequency and this becomes equals to two. So the C which I had lost, I recovered at index nine. So in this case, I will include everything from the beginning to the left pointer and everything from the right pointer to the end. So now our exclusion window has actually slided to the right and you see that we are excluding everything from index five to index eight, isn't it? So this is how we will be sliding our exclusion window from right to left. You can also again go for left to right sliding as well. So based on this idea, let's look at a dry run. We are given the string s with the n equals to 12 value and we are taking a k value equals to 2. So the first thing which I will do is I will be moving this left pointer to the right and try to find out the rightmost exclusion window as I had done previously, right? I will keep sliding from left to right until uh, my frequency constraints are met, okay? If I could not meet it and we finish the string, then it will not be possible and I will be returning minus one. So in this case, if I move from left to right, then you see, uh, I will see two times A, A and A, right? So I can increase the frequency of, uh, of A two times. Again, I see a B, I will increase the frequency of B. I see four A's now. So if you pass through these four A's, then you can just increase the frequency of A by four. If you see this C, then this becomes one. If you see these two A's, then this becomes 8 and you reach to this B. If you see this B, it becomes 2. If you see this C, this becomes 2. And our left value is at index 2, which is out of bound. Now in this case, at every point of parsing, after including every character, you have to always check if the frequency of A, B, C are all greater than equals to K. If any of them, if any one of them even is not following the constraint, then we will continuously keep on mo moving the left pointer to the right. Okay. So if you hit the out of bound case, then finally we will have to check if the constraints are met. If the constraints were not met, I will return minus one. In this case, the constraints are met. Okay. So once the constraints are met, I will take a shortest variable, which will tell me the minimum number of characters to be included to make all the frequencies greater than equals to K. And in this case, what I'm trying to create is, I'm trying to create an exclusion window on the rightmost side and include everything on the left. So this is giving me an exclusion window of size zero because the entire string go got included. So what is the size? It is the L pointer, which is 12. 12 is the initial size. We have to include all the characters. Okay. After having done this, we will be adjusting our left pointer because even if it had stopped anywhere, it will always stop to the next character. So you have to do L minus one, right? So you adjust this pointer. After doing this necessary adjustment, now what I will do is, I will be uh, following the process of sliding this exclusion window one by one. In this case, the exclusion window has been of zero size currently. So now I will be sliding this left pointer and uh, removing this C. If I remove this C, the frequency of C will decrease by one. Now I will continuously move this right pointer to the left side unless I hit the left pointer or my frequency becomes uh, greater than equals to K again. Okay, whatever was lost is recovered. In this case, if you move this right pointer to the left, then you will see that this C's frequency will get added and this will again come back to uh, two. So let me take the left pointer here and the right pointer here, right? So in this case, what will be the size? the size will be equals to the number of elements to be removed. Like let's say here was the L pointer and you had a right pointer here. 
number of elements to be removed in between will be r minus l let's say okay and then uh, if you subtract n from it then you will be getting uh, the total number of elements that needs to be included so in this case 12 minus 10 minus 10 is 0 so 12 minus 0 will be 12 so i will take the minimum of 12 comma 12 it will be 12 so we are not updating anything right now again i will be sliding and not including this b if you don't include this b then the frequency of b will become one now i will move this right pointer to the left until i can recover back my frequency so if you move this just one time then you can include this b and you will recover it again the size will be 12 right now i will be moving this left to the left side and decrease its frequency to 7 and now i will be uh, move, moving this right pointer to the left hand side if i do not follow the constraint but you see that i am following the constraint it does not matter even if the frequency is lost by one but i should only maintain that all the frequencies should be greater than equals to two and that is completely fine here right so uh, now find out the window size it will be 12 minus 10 minus uh, 9 which will be equals to 11 right because this a has been removed so that is why uh, since i want to minimize the shortest value i have to do 11 here so now again uh, we will be sliding this back by one time if i slide it back again i will lose another a so this will become six still i am able to follow the constraint for all these characters so what will be my size now it will be 12 minus 10 minus 8 which will be equals to 10 so 10 will be updated here right now i will move this left pointer to the left hand side and will exclude this c so the frequency of c becomes one now i will try to uh, compensate this back to two so that the constraint is followed so i'll keep moving this right pointer to the left side so an a a c will get included right if we move this right pointer to the left and the right pointer will stop here so two a's and one c is included before we compensate back this c and make it back equals to two again in this case what is the window size it will be 12 minus 6 minus 6 which will be 12 but 10 is a better result so i will not do anything again this left will be moving to the left hand side and the frequency of a will decrease but we are following the constraint the window size will be 12 minus 1 which will be 11 but this is already a better answer again i will move the left to the left hand side the frequency will be 6 for a what is the size of the window we are still following the constraint the window size is 12 minus 2 because two items are getting excluded right so 12 minus 2 is 10 already we have 10 now we will again not include this a so the a's frequency will become 5 again we are following constraint for all the characters in this case the window size is 12 minus r minus l that means 12 minus 6 minus uh, 3 so that will become 9 so 9 is a better answer update this to 9 repeat the process again move the left pointer to the left hand side and another a is lost so this will become 4 again it is following the constraint now the window size has become 8 update this to 8 if you leave this again to the left hand side then a b is lost and b becomes one frequency again now you have to recover back b so r pointer will be continuously moving to the left unless unless we see a b and include it so we will see four times a and one time b and the right pointer will stop at index one here you have left pointer and right pointer so the frequency of a will increase by four and frequency of b will increase by one at this point the window size is 12 minus zero which will be 12 but already we have a better answer now move this left to the left hand side frequency of a will reduce to 7 still it is following the constraint window size is 12 minus 1 11 8 is a better answer move this left to the left side again the a's frequency will reduce to 6 now the window size is 12 minus 2 which is 10 8 is a better answer so since the left has now become less than 0 so we will stop the process here right this is the right most extreme exclusion case so what we did in this case is we uh, took a window and we excluded the window on the right hand side we found the exclusion window on the right hand side and we were sliding this exclusion window in such a way that at the end we will be excluding everything on the left hand side if possible right so we are sliding the exclusion window and the rest of the items will be in included in our result right so this is how we will solve this problem using sliding window and two pointer and the shortest in in our case is eight so in this case we will be traversing the string uh, maximum two times so this will be order of n and space complexity is order of one because the frequency uh, is just having three items 
Let's now look at the code. If you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months, then we have brought for you both the DSA and the system design live interview training program. The most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one on one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this code we are given the string s and k value so i'll be creating a frequency array of three size depicting 0 1 2 for a b c now i will be uh, moving the left pointer as i said to the right hand side until the left pointer is included in such a way that all the characters till the left pointer is included and everything to the right of it is excluded so finding the first exclusion window now this should follow the constraint that everything included must have all frequencies greater than equals to k if it is not followed and we have reached to the end of string then definitely i will return a minus one but if it is followed i will be assigning the shortest to the left pointer right because the left pointer will always be pointing to the first item of the exclusion window if you do the dry run you will understand then i will have to adjust it back by moving l to l minus one okay the index of this since the index counting starts with zero the index of this will actually give the shortest that means the number of items included okay the counting starts from one and the index starts from zero that's the reason now i will take a right pointer on the rightmost side and the left pointer is already present somewhere here and uh, you know that in between there is an exclusion window of zero size or more size then i will try to move this uh, left pointer one item after another to the left hand side by using this okay and then i will decrement the frequency definitely and then i will try to compensate back this frequency in such a way that the left pointer is always less than equals to your right uh, pointer and the and the frequency is compensated for each of the abcs until then we will keep sliding this right to the left hand side and once it follows the condition then i will update the uh, shortest number of uh, characters to be included right that means the minimum number of characters to be included so it will be minimum of already known minimum comma n minus r minus l and finally after having done this entire process i will be returning the shortest count of characters so I hope this problem is clear. If you still have any doubt, then feel free to comment below and I'll try to help you as soon as possible. Like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.